So the accused gunman who killed seven people and hurt dozens more during a 4th of July parade in Illinois just confessed to authorities. Madeline Rivera is in Highland Park where Robert Cremo revealed he planned a second attack as well. As the Highland Park community mourns, police say there could have been more violence as the suspect had thought about committing a second shooting in another state. He admitted to what he had done. Law enforcement say Robert Cremo III confessed to them that he committed Monday's deadly attack, killing at least seven people and hurting more than two dozen when he used a high-powered rifle to fire more than 70 rounds from the top of a building along the route of the Independence Day Parade. It was bouncing off the buildings and it was really challenging to deduce where those rounds were coming from. Cremo's motive remains unclear, but investigators say... He uh, had some type of affinity towards the number four and seven and inverse was seven four. And there could have been more bloodshed. After the shooting, police say he drove more than two hours away to Madison, Wisconsin, where he contemplated attacking another 4th of July celebration that he saw there. People should be aware, they should be afraid that a mass shooting can happen in our community. Officials don't know exactly why Cremo decided not to attack and instead drove back to Illinois where he was later arrested. However, they believe he hadn't put enough research into pulling off a second shooting. <laughs> Meanwhile, vigils continue for the victims as this devastated community bands together. Cremo has been charged with seven counts of first degree murder with additional charges expected. A judge ordered he be held without bond. He's due back in court on July 28th. In Highland Park, Illinois, Malda Rivera, Fox 13 News.